Praise the Lord, everybody.
in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. You might say, well, I'm not at church, Pastor, but you are in the presence of the Lord. And the Bible says, well, the presence of the Lord is there is liberty. Hallelujah. Come on, find your freedom right now in the presence of the Lord. Come on, find your freedom in the worship of the Lord. Come on, come on, come on. Give him glory whom the Son is in free. He is free in me. Come on, give him glory. Come on, give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Hallelujah. his people, he will not abandon his special possession. Judgment will again be found on justice. And those with virtuous hearts will pursue it. Who will protect me from the wicked? 
or who will rise up from the wicked, who will stand up for me against evildoers. Unless the Lord had helped me, I would soon have settled in the silence of the grave. I cried out, I am slipping, but your unfailing love, O oh Lord, supported me. When doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Who will rise up to protect me from the wicked? And who will take a stand for me against evildoers? Unless the Lord had helped me, I would have soon settled in the silence of the grave. I cried out, I am slipping, but your unfailing love, O oh Lord, supported me. When doubt filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for another opportunity for your word to come forth. So we say, speak, Holy Spirit. Speak in this place. We thank you for a word that's going to encourage us. And thank you for a word that's going to strengthen us. Thank you for a word that's going to give us power in this time, God. We need power in the midst of the pandemic. God, we thank you for a reminder today that you are with us. We thank you for a reminder today that we will not fall. We thank you for a reminder today of what you're going to do for your people. So we say, speak Holy Spirit right now. Word of God, speak to our hearts, speak to our minds, speak to our spirits. Give us exactly what we need right now in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for the word. We thank you for the power of the word. We thank you that it's keeping us. We thank you that it's covering us. We thank you even, Lord, that it's correcting us and getting us back together again. So we need the word. So God, give it to us right now, God. Hide me behind the cross so the people only see and hear you today. You get the glory. Yes. You get the honor. You get the praise. Speak right now, Lord, because your people need to hear. We thank you and we praise you. It's in Jesus' name that we do pray. Let everybody say amen, 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 and amen. Come on and give God praise one more time. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, praise God one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who will protect me from the wicked? And who will stand up for me against evildoers? Verse 17 says, unless the Lord had helped me, I would soon have settled in the silence of the grave. I cried out, I am slipping, but your unfailing love, O Lord, supported me. When doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. I'm going to talk from the topic today, and I probably have to finish it in Bible study on Wednesday, but I've fallen, but I will get up. I've fallen, but I will give up. Uh, most of you growing up, if you're around about my age, you grew up seeing the the Life Alert bracelet commercial. You know, as a kid, that was funny to you because a little old lady falling down and she said, I've fallen and I can't get up. And so you she, it was her, she had whatever, she was older in her years and something happened and so she fell in the house and she was alone. And so the purpose of the commercial was to get people who were might have been up in age and who had some disabilities to buy the Life Alert bracelet. So if something happened to them and they were home by themselves, they could press the button and someone would come to your rescue. And, and, and so when you press the button, the lady would say, I've fallen and I can't get up. I, I know we all wish that we had one of them. Uh -huh. how, how many of you have fallen, even physically sometimes, and needed someone to help you up and no one was there? And you had to figure a way to get up by yourself. You had to figure a way to get up. You're looking around and you said, there is no help. You're trying to figure out, how am I going to get out of this? How am I going to get out of the circumstances? And you wish at that moment in time, you had a life alert bracelet. But what if I told you that you already got one? 
What if I told you that you already got a life alert birth? Now, I'll tell you. Let me even say, well, Pastor, I don't see one. I don't have one of them little chains like the lady. I don't have nothing around my neck. I don't have a bracelet. But how come to tell you today that your life alert bracelet is in your mouth? Hallelujah. See, see, that's your connection. You see, the life alert bracelet is connected to an EMS system. And when you press the button, you talk to them and tell them what's your problem. And based on your problem, they will send the help to you. But I've come to tell you, you already got that button. You already got a connection, hallelujah. Because when you call on the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that's just like pressing the life alert button. When was the last time you pressed your life alert button? When was the last time you called on the name of Jesus? When was the last time you said, Lord, I need your help? When was the last time you told Jesus all about your problems? You got something that you ain't even using. You got to know you got power and it's in your mouth. So I guess somebody right now who is going through a trouble. I guess somebody right now who is dealing with a problem. Open your mouth and press the button and call on the name of Jesus. On the name of Jesus. I've fallen and I can't get up. A lot of us have fallen in life. Things have, have, have made us forget. Sometimes our situation to make us forget that we have power on the inside of us. That's why Jesus says, Greater is he that's within me than he that's within. That's what the word says. Greater is he that's within me than he that's within the world. But sometimes the worries and the cares of the world get too heavy and they begin to mess up our minds. They begin to mess up our thinking. They begin to mess up our spirit and we forget where our help comes from. That's why you got to go out to the psalmist when he says, I look to the hills on which my help comes from. I know my help comes from the Lord. So when I forget down here where my help is, all I got to do is look up. Hallelujah. When you forget, you can't get nobody to answer the call. All you got to do is look up. And when you look up, open up your mouth and call Jesus. Glory to God. So, so the key is look up and say Jesus. Glory to God. Look up and say Lord, I need your help. Look up and say come on Jesus and come see about me. Yeah. Because I got something I'm dealing with. Like I told y'all last week and week before, all of us got to prove. My fruit might not be your fruit, but I still got a fruit. Uh -huh. But in order to get help with your fruit, you got to open up your mouth. Yeah. You got to open up your mouth and say something, glory to God. When they say closed mouths don't get fed, hallelujah. If you want something from the Lord, all you got to do is open up your mouth and say something. If you need something from the Lord, all you got to do is open up your mouth and tell the Lord that you need him. That's the place the psalmist was in. In Psalms 94, he was in a place where he had a few questions. And we say that this song wasn't written by David. It's, it's an anonymous song. We don't know. But I believe it was somebody who was a, a contemporary of David or somebody who was around him because they had the same writing style and they had the same questions. So the psalmist asked the question, who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will stand up for me against Evil doers. Anybody ever had that thought in your mind that when stuff was going on and you didn't have nobody, who going to stand up for me? Who, 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 who going to raise up for me? Who going to come to my rescue? God, I feel like I'm in this thing by myself. I feel like, God, I'm about to go under and everybody I call, they are not around. Everybody I try to reach out to, they say they can't help me. They got their own issues. They got their own problems. But God, I was there when they needed me, but God, nobody seems to be there when I need them. God, who's going to raise up? I'm always taking up for somebody. Who going to take up for me? I'm always stepping in for somebody? Who going to step in for me? I'm always praying for somebody. Who going to pray for me? Who going to rise up on my behalf? All right. Who's going to rise up on my behalf? Who will take a stand for me against evil doers? Because the enemy's out to sift us as we He's out to destroy us. The Bible says he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But you got to know that Jesus said, I have come that you might have life more abundantly. So the psalmist said, who will raise up for me against the wicked? Who will take a stand for me against evildoers? Verse 17 says, unless the Lord help me. Unless 
the Lord had given me help, I would have soon settled in silence in the grave. So this, this psalmist was testifying and saying, if the Lord didn't jump in the fight, glory to God, if the Lord didn't come to my rescue, I would have been dead. I don't know if he's writing this on behalf of David when, when, when Saul was trying to kill him or when the people were after him. If it, if it wasn't for the Lord, I would be dead. Can anybody testify? If it wasn't for the Lord, you don't know where you would be. Some of y'all would be in jail. Some of you would be crazy. Some of you would be strung out on drugs. Some of you would be somewhere homeless on the street, but God stepped in. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad I got somebody that will step in for me and come to my rescue. Yes. Hallelujah. So that means that the Lord will rise up or stand up for me. You see, there's a difference, and that's why because you might say, well, he's saying the same thing. No, he's not. He's saying two different things. First thing we've got to look at is that the Lord is raising up. He's standing up for me. You see, raise up, rise up, stand up means, look at Numbers 10 and 35. You can go back to it. It says, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Glory. And you know, we've been, we grew up some of us saying, let God arise and my enemies be scattered. And I, I said, well, God, we've been singing it wrong. But he said, well, no, see that you've not been singing it wrong. Because if they're your enemies, they're my enemies. All right. All right. All right. Amen. So, when, when I arise, your enemies become my enemies and they scatter. Mm. So now it tells us, let God arise. When God stands up, his enemies are scattered. Why do they run? Because they know the power of God. Hallelujah. See, you got to see the problem is we don't know the power of God. See, the enemy knows just how strong God is. That's why he'll do everything in his power to keep you from calling his name. That's why he'll do everything in his power to keep you from praying. That's why he'll do everything in his power to keep you from giving God the glory. Because he knows if you ever get connected, if you ever press that button, if you ever get on your knees, if you ever shout Jesus, if you ever call his name, he will come. And when God comes, the enemy Kids say today he wanted all the smoke. 
You see, Jesus, Jesus, he, he was slow. He was with it. He was with it. Jesus ain't one of them all talking, no extra people. If Jesus say something, he gonna do it. If God say something, he gonna do it. He ain't scared of nobody. He ain't scared of no demon. That's why he told us that God has not given us the spirit of fear because God ain't afraid of anything. And he's given us the spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. And when it comes to the enemy, you gotta want all the smoke. Hallelujah. You gotta say, okay, I know you, you say this, but I got something for that. Or oh, you mess with my family, I got something for that. I want all the smoke. Why? Because God is on my side. Yeah. Thank you. you know people that all talk. Uh -huh. Say something pop off, they running. They ain't got nothing to say. You, I'm down here with you. Because somebody messing with you, we done went down here. And you done did all this talking and they ready to fight. You go and I got to fight by myself. We don't serve that type of God. Hallelujah. He going to stay there. He going to get in with you. Hallelujah. Not only he going to get in with you, he going to get in front of you. Hallelujah. That's why they say, if God be for me, who can be against me? Hallelujah. God will no, you ain't got to fight this one. I got this one. Hallelujah. You ain't got to struggle no more. I got this one because I'm rising up. Oh, yo, man. He's rising up and standing up just for you. Just for you. This means he's coming to the scene. And when he gets there, oh, glory to God. And when he gets there, you ever been in trouble before and you ever met somebody a little bit bigger than you? You say, okay, hold on, I got something for you. Let me go get my cousin. Let me go get my, my sister. Let me go get my brother. And if you, so some people know if you go actually go get that person, it's going to be some trouble. So I come to tell you, instead of trying to fight the enemy by yourself, instead of trying to heal yourself, instead of trying to figure it out by yourself, look at the devil and say, just hold on. I'm going to get my daddy. Just hold on. I'm going to get help. And that's when you open up your mouth and say, Jesus. Need your help, hallelujah. They down here messing with your children. We need your help. They down here saying we ain't nothing. We need your help. Jesus, come and see about me. And Jesus, come on. This is how Jesus come on. Somebody got something to say? Somebody got something? What, 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 what? I have hope. Somebody wants something? Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Because I'm not going to let nobody twit my child. Yeah. I live. 33 and 10 says, but the Lord says, now I will stand up. Now I will show my power and might. Mm -hmm. Somebody might be asking the question, well, Pastor, when he coming now? Mm -hmm. When is Jesus going to show up now? When is God going to stand up now? When is God going to heal you now? When is God going to deliver you now? When am I going to get my blessing right now? I'm going to get it. Open up your mouth and tell the Lord what you need. Because sometimes it happens in your mind before it happens in your body. You might be still sick in your body. But you got to ask the Lord for a healing. And say, my mind is healed. I'm just waiting for it to catch up with the rest of my body. My mind is delivered. I'm just waiting for my body to catch up with it. My house is delivered. I'm just waiting for it to catch up with my mind. That's when you ask the Lord to help you. Isaiah also said in Isaiah 2 and 19, when the Lord rises to shake the earth, his enemies will crawl into holes in the ground. Just use your imagination and just look at all your enemies crawling into holes in the ground. They were so big and bad when they thought you was by yourself. But when the Lord rises, not only will he rise, he's shaking the earth. Glory. Oh, Ooh, God. God is shaking the earth. There's some stuff in your life that's about to be shaken. But if you just hold on, hallelujah, when he finishes shaking and the dust clear, all of your enemies will be gone. You got to say, Lord, shake up my family. Shake up my job. Hallelujah. Shake up my friendships. God. Shake up my relationships. God. Shake up my home. God. Shake up my family. God. Shake the earth. God. Shake this nation, God. Shake the community, God. Shake the school system, God. Shake the children, God. Shake the teenagers, God. Shake the earth, God. And let the enemies crawl into a hole and get away from me. God, I need you to shake the earth. Hallelujah. Shake it, hallelujah. Shake the earth, glory to God. For not only is he rising up, 
He's taking a stand. Take a stand. That means to hold one's ground against the enemy. Because God is saying today, see, you might be scared of him, but I ain't scared of him. Because whatever he do, there's nothing that he can do that can overpower God. The devil has no attack that's greater than God's attack. The devil has no scheme that's greater than God's power. The devil has no plan that's greater than God's plan. The devil can't do nothing unless God gives permission to do it with. And But it's only so far that he could go. You see, I always bring Job up because he's a perfect example of somebody trusting God. And God allowed the enemy. And I still try to figure out what God did. Why you couldn't figure another way to teach us this lesson? But he allowed Job to lose everything that he had. He allowed Job to be sick unto death. He allowed Job, even his, his wife told him, he to cuss God and die. He even allowed all of his friends to turn their back on him and say that he was the reason that God was forsaking him. But even to the midst of everything that Job was going through, he said, because the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He still said, I know that my Redeemer live. And he trusted God until the end. Hallelujah. And in the end, God gave him double for his trouble. He could have gave up as he took his but he didn't. He could have gave up after he took all his cattle and his livestock. But he didn't. He could have gave up after he made him sick unto death. But he didn't. He could have gave up when his wife told him you need to cuss God and die. But he didn't. He should have gave up when your friends tried to tell you you ain't nothing and this is your reason. But Job held on to God's unchanging hand. And that's why he said, I know my Redeemer lives. Break! 
afraid that before the pit bull could get out, that the kids, their daddy who was sitting in the bushes, raised up with a stick in his hand. And when the pit bull saw the daddy and the stick in his hands, he ran and went the other way. When the son saw the dog leave, he got some courage and said, dog, get out of here. You see, you may not see when God stands up, but the devil sees it every time. And I come to tell you, God's about to raise up out of the bushes. He's going to be your ram in the bush. And when the enemy sees God, he will flee. is standing up for you. God is standing up for you, standing all over this place. God, we thank you. We thank you that you are rising up for us. We thank you that you are standing up on our behalf. We thank you that you are fighting for us. We thank you that you are actually God. Not just all words, but when we need you, you come by our rescue. We thank you, Lord, for being our present help in the time of trouble. Hallelujah. Thank you for being our rescue, God. So, right now, God, all of us are going through something. And like the lady on that commercial, we press our life alert button. And we just call on the name of Jesus. Come on, church, just call on the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, Jesus, we're calling you. God, we're calling you right now. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We need your help. Come see about us. Come see about us. Come see about us. We're down here praying. So, God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you that you are standing up for the all of us. So let you arise and your enemies be scattered. Because your enemies are my enemies. And when you show up, God, they got to flee. Demons tremble at the mention of your name. So we thank you. And we praise you. Thank you for seeing about us. Thank you for coming to see about your children. God, you didn't leave us down here by ourselves. We can't see you. But the enemy does. I might not be able to see you, but the devil, he heard you. Hallelujah. So we thank you today. And we give you praise. And we call your name Jesus. Jesus, 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 oh how I love you. God, we just thank you that we can call on your name and you will come to our rescue. Somebody's calling your name right now, God, because they need to be saved. God, come to their rescue. Somebody's calling your name right now, Lord, because they need to be healed. Come to their rescue. Somebody's calling your name right now, Lord, because they need deliverance. God, give them exactly what they need. God, we thank you. God, we praise you. And we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
join us on Wednesday as we continue to talk about this. We talk about our anxiety. A lot of us are anxious for stuff. We're, we're uneasy right now. And we're going to talk about how Jesus can calm all that. So join us on this Wednesday for a Bible study. We'll be on our Facebook page. I thank you for your continued support of this ministry. Continue to pray for each other. Call and check on one another. Just make sure everybody all right. I love you, Cedar Creek. I pray that this is the best week of your life. And I've come to let you know that God is standing up for you. He's standing up for you and he's fighting on your behalf. You might fall, but guess what? You're going to get back up. Hallelujah. You're not even going to fall to the ground because he's able to keep you. He's able to catch you. And always remember, if it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, where would you be? Father God, we thank you and we praise you. We ask that you bless us, keep us, protect us. This week, no hurt, no sickness, no pain, no sorrow, because you're fighting for us. You are on our side, and we thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everybody say amen. Amen. Go and be blessed of the Lord. Hallelujah.